hello everyone welcome back again so as you already know in the previous lecture we have discussed about the block, block diagram what is the block diagram and what is the transfer function and all about we have discussed and what uh, what is the summing point what is the takeoff point we have discussed in the previous lecture if you are not watched it yet so i will just provide the link in the description box you can go through and check it again so that your uh, other topics will be crystal clear for you okay so uh, before solving uh, some particular problem some block reduction problems first of all you should know uh, there are some rules uh, by which you can tackle the problems okay so first rule if we will talk about so first rule is the shifting of summing points is allowed that means for example i am taking here this is the summing point okay this is another summing point okay and this one is the feedback suppose r2 i am taking this is r1 as reference input positive this is the negative feedback and this is positive and this is suppose r3 feedback over here and now if i just shift uh, these particular summing points okay first of all uh, what i will get in this particular format i will get here as r1 minus this is uh, what we call as uh, feedback okay r1 minus r2 and this is again in plus feedback okay so this will become r1 minus r2 plus r3 okay so this is our output then if i shift any of these summing points so this is allowed in the reduction of the block diagram let us see how so first of all let us take i will take this r3 as here r3 summing point i am shifting over here this is a positive value over here and first this is r1 as same then i will shift r2 in the uh, uh, in front of the r3 over here right so i will just write r2 e r2 over here as but r2 value is negative okay when you will get the output as r1 this is again plus r3 minus r2 so you will just observe this is same r1 minus r2 r1 minus r2 plus r3 plus r3 so interchange of summing points or you can easily say uh, this uh, shifting or interchange you can say okay so slash i will say that interchange interchange of summing points is allowed in the block diagram reduction okay this this is the first rule which you should remember and this rule will definitely help you in solving the problems so next one is uh, second rule is my dear friends shifting of shifting of take off points take off points or you can say that interchange of okay interchange interchange of take off points is also allowed huh? okay also allowed so already you uh, just we came across in the previous lecture as summing what are the summing points and what are the takeoff points so shifting of uh, summing points and shifting of takeoff points is allowed in the block diagram reduction <clears throat> this will be clear uh, a crystal clear later on in the problem when you solve the problem some variety of problems you will come to know how we can interchange these rows and sorry these uh, what we call as summing points and takeoff points were there right next one is third that is blocks in series this is the third rule that is blocks in series means if there are some blocks that is forward path that is g1 is the one block another block is g2 okay next one is g3 so these are the blocks are connected in the series over here right this is your reference input this is your output so what will i get over here as when there are blocks in the series so you will always get uh, by combining these three you have to do multiplication of these okay these three so you will get one block as g1 into g2 into g3 and this is your output this is your input so blocks in series when you solve when you just uh, reduce the block diagrams you will get uh, when there is the series of blocks you will get the answer as g1 into g2 into g3 you have to just multiply these three blocks okay these are the blocks in series how to solve the blocks in series okay next one is the fourth rule that is blocks in parallel okay so blocks in parallel when the blocks are in parallel how to solve let us see so this one is first block that is g1 okay next one is the block that is g2 i am taking here the next one i will take g3 right these are connected with the summing point this is your positive side or positive you can say that this is also connected to the positive or this is negative whatever you take it is your choice 
so I am taking here a yes, summing point and these are connected to the uh, these are connected in parallel right what you will get in the answer as you will just get this is as g1 plus g2 and g3 but you have to look upon the positive and negative signs right g1 is connected to the summing point but with the negative feedback okay this is a negative so i can write here as g2 minus g1 g2 is positive g3 is also positive so i can write g2 minus g1 plus g3 and this is your desired output this is your reference input okay this is blocks in parallel whenever there is a uh, there uh, there is block blocks in the parallel over there you have to uh, you should get this uh, g2 minus g1 plus you have to simply addition do addition or subtraction according to the feedbacks you have to look upon the feed feedbacks first then accordingly you can write down the whole block okay uh, you it will be clear later on my dear friends in the problem part so that it will be uh, there will be the better picture or clear picture for you people how to understand this concept over there so these are just the rules which you should remember here next one is the uh, fifth part i will just write the next page so these are the fourth four rules next one is five fifth rule that is shifting of shifting of summing points summing points in front or behind the block let's understand with the help of example over here so shifting of summing points in front or behind the block first of all we will take the in front case in front means suppose this is your summing point and this is your block suppose g1 and this is your output okay so uh, this is suppose we will take for the sake of an instance here the negative feedback as x value okay so you have to shift this summing point in front first of all shifting of summing points in front or behind the block we will take first in front over here so i will just uh, move this uh, particular summing point in front of the block okay you have to just shift this uh, summing point in front of the g1 block what we will get in the answer over here as we have to just write first g1 then we are just moving the summing point in front of the g1 so when i write this summing point in front of g1 then you have to add the block value that is g1 with the feedback value this feedback value is here already but whenever you are shifting this summing point towards uh, or in front of the g1 or block you will you have to add another block value which is the block value here you have to add with the feedback value over here right this is your x already so this is your sorry negative feedback okay so this is your whole uh, shifting of the summing points in front in front of the block now next case next case is behind huh? okay so next one is behind block behind the block so i will take the same example suppose you have to now shift the summing point so, uh, so i will just uh, take here another example uh, suppose this is your g1 block this is your summing point and this is your required output and this is your feedback now okay now in the uh, problem itself so you have to just go behind the block okay this summing point you have to shift behind the block now i can easily easily write it as in this format you have to shift this here right whenever you are shifting this summing point behind the block then what will we do we just write first the summing point over here okay then g1 as it is then required output whenever you are just shifting this uh, summing point in uh, sorry behind the block you have to add the inverse of this uh, block value okay so that will be your one upon g1 you have to add this one upon g1 that is inverse value of the block when you are shifting summing point behind the block over here right then with the same feedback value that is x over here right so this is the fifth rule so you have to remember the shifting of summing points in front or behind the block so let me recap it whenever you are shifting some uh, summing points in front of the block you have to add the same block value whatever it is here so with the feedback value okay next is behind the block you if you are shifting summing points behind the uh, this uh, block over here then you have to add the inverse value of this block that is one upon g1 with the feedback value over here right so this is the fifth rule next rule is sixth that is shifting of 
shifting of take off points okay shifting of take off points in front or behind so the here also there are two cases that is uh, take off points in front or behind so let me take here an example suppose first i will take in front case in front in front case i will take all this is your input and this is your feedback sorry take off point this is your g1 this is your output okay now i have to just move this uh, particular what we call as take off point in front of the g1 okay i am shifting it over here i will get as g1 as it is then i have to shift this what we call as feedback uh, sorry this take off point okay when you are shifting take off points in front of the block you have to add the inverse value okay same like in the summing points over there so what you have to do in case you have to add one upon g inverse then you have to write down the take off value okay next is c that is reference output it is same okay so if you just observe in the in front case of the summing points when you were shifting summing point in front of the g1 you were supposed to add g1 value that is block value over here now in the take off when you are taking the in front value uh, in front case then you are adding inverse of the one of g upon so totally it is opposite right next is behind case so behind means suppose this is your uh, g1 block this is your g1 then this is your take off point okay this is your output and this is your reference input now you are just moving this uh, take off point behind the g1 okay you will get uh, what we call here as g1 as it is and c as it is now you are shifting this take off point to this value now if you are shifting behind uh, this take off point sorry if you are uh, shifting this uh, take off point behind the block you have to add the block value in this case over here then same y over here okay so this is the sixth rule it is totally opposite of the fifth rule that is shifting of summing points and shifting of takeoff points in this uh, shifting of summing points in front case you are just adding g1 value block value and behind uh, case you are uh, just adding one upon g1 that is inverse value but in this uh, shifting of take takeoff points when you are just moving in front you are adding inverse value and in the behind you are just adding the block value over here these are the six rules which are most important uh, as far as the vtu problems are concerned over there on the block diagram reduction so seventh rule is which is also called as critical rule so seventh is uh, the critical rule which is the last but not least so you have to shift between summing and take off means you have to interchange summing and take off points but this rule is applicable if and only if dear friends if you are not if you have not any or any other option in the problem uh, rather than this critical rule so only that point you can use this critical rule over there okay so rest of the problems you can easily do with these uh, uh, six rules which i have already discussed so uh, critical rule is used only if and only if if there is no any other option to uh, solve the to reduce the block diagram over there right so first case i will just write here as input summing point this is plus plus this is a feedback i'm taking out this is the uh, sorry take off point this is reference uh, output okay when i just shift this take off point behind the summing point now there is the interchange of a uh, summing point and a uh, take off point so we are taking the case over here <clears throat> if you just uh, move this take off point behind the summing point you will get as this summing point as it is now this feedback value uh, goes to the behind but when you are shifting this take off point behind the summing point then you have to again add this summing point here with the same sign what is the sign here positive so you have to add here as positive it is already positive so just join these values over here this is your feedback x remain same this is your take off point which you are shifting behind the summing point that is y over here this is your output okay so when you are shifting take off point behind the summing point you have to add another summing point with the feedback value uh, sorry with the take off point with the same sign over there right next is in the second case is in front case that is suppose if i am taking input here feedback uh, sorry take off point here 
this is your uh, summing point this is your reference uh, output okay so this is your positive suppose uh, now i am shifting this take off point in front of the summing point when you are shifting uh, this take off point in front of the summing point then you have to again add you have to add uh, the summing point over here with the feedback value but with the opposite sign suppose this was positive over here so you have to add another uh, summing point but with the negative feedback okay <clears throat> this will rest of the things will remain same so this is your y take off point i have taken it over here this is your output that is c okay so these are all the rules uh, by which you can uh, reduce the block diagrams which is the most important my dear friends most important topic as far as video examination is concerned so uh, you should be very serious about these rules so that you can apply these uh, rules in the problematic part over there so in the next lecture so this will go too long if i just solve in this uh, particular video the problem so it will get too long so i don't want that particular thing over here so in next video i will just solve the block diagram problem so thanks for watching my video this is all about the today's today's lecture